Okay, so this is a brief video on how to use VirtualBox so you don't have to uh, use Virtual PC if you don't want to. Uh, VirtualBox is a free download and whenever I do Virtual PC instructions you won't have to do them, but you do need to know how to set up the machine. So let's do a file and, uh, oh, machine, sorry, machine new, next, and uh, just like in the video I'm going to call it Ubu Serve and it knows it's Ubuntu. Make sure you choose Ubuntu either 32-bit or 64-bit, whichever one you're running. And uh, I'm going to jump the RAM up to 512, uh, 1024. Next, create a new hard disk. We'll call, a new, call it a VDI. Dynamically allocated. I'm going to jump this up to 16 gigabytes. Create. All right, so create. I want to go to its settings, right click on it, uh, or you can just go into the sidebar here, go down to network, and I don't want to use NAT, I want to use bridged adapter to whatever card that I'm using to connect, I'm using wireless, so I'm going to use the Linksys wireless, at that point you can start it up, and then this will pop up, you can click next, and then choose a file, which would be there it is next and then start uh, or you can just do uh, devices CD Ubuntu if you uh, if you don't have your configuration settings right let's do OK and then go to um, system and make sure CD is above hard drive. VirtualBox doesn't come with the BIOS so make sure that this is right and if you're running 64-bit you're probably gonna have to mess with some of the uh, enable VT AMD V just so it'll make work make it a work and change your uh, processors and uh, percentage of execution all right, well, that's how you do it on VirtualBox. Other than that, you can follow directions. Just whenever I say some virtual PC direction, like editing Grub, you don't have to do that. Uh, you'll know that when I do VGA, when I do the command VGA. All right, thank you for watching.